Now, the Trump tariffs uh, have already claimed some casualties. Uh, this time, Harley-Davidson uh, is reported to have been moving production of motorcycles bound for European countries out of the United States, citing rising costs from European Union tariffs on its products. Well, well now, wait a minute. I thought the Trump tariffs were supposed to protect American jobs. Oops. Uh-oh. The company said in a filing on Monday that the EU tariffs on motorcycles exported from the U.S. rose from 6% to 31%. Now, those tariffs, uh, they're supposed to be to protect American jobs, um, but that's not happening. These jobs are not being protected, and in fact, we're actually losing jobs. It's stupid to start a trade war with our allies. But that's unfortunately what we're doing. Now, the Associated Press reported that motorcycles bound for European countries will now be produced in overseas factories. Now, I reported recently uh, on a new factory uh, being built in Asia. Well, isn't that wonderful? Uh, so here go more American jobs that are going overseas. That is the whole opposite. Uh, that's the opposite of what you claim that these... Uh, policies would actually accomplish. Well, congratulations. Uh, how's that trade war working out? Look, yes, this has cost American jobs. I don't know how many it's going to cost. Maybe several hundred, possibly more. The problem is this was done for no purpose. There is no purpose to these tariffs. I can understand putting on a tariff that actually does something for it's like tactical right a tactical tariff uh that is meant to produce a particular result these tariffs are not tactical at all there's literally no purpose other than to start a, a ridiculous trade war that president trump thinks he can win turns out they're not easy to win now he said uh quote you know uh in a tweet that Oh, no, don't worry about it. Trade wars are, are really good and they're super easy to win. If you do this, you're a winner. No, we're not winners. <laughs> okay. Turns out this whole international trade thing is a little complicated. Who knew? Who knew it would be difficult? And, of course, this impending trade war is already having negative effects. For example, Daimler Chrysler warned last week that escalating tension between the U.S. and China would impair their earnings in, in its Alabama, uh, Alabama SUV plant and lower their profits. You know what that means? It means less jobs for American workers. And here's the thing. I'm not against tariffs. It's just if it's done right. If it's done right, there is some protectionist policy that makes sense. However, Trump is not sophisticated. He's not a very stable genius. So a lot of these tariffs, many of which have ended up on our allies, are actually devastating. Now, there is some good news on this, if you could call it that. Wall Street's in chaos. The stock market has plunged. Dow Jones is down over 400 points. That's billions of dollars that they're losing. That's in the first few hours of, of the first day of trading. Now, why is that good? Well, for one, big corporations are not going to be happy with President Trump. See, here's the thing. Uh, look, Trump can do, according to Wall Street, pretty much whatever he likes. I mean, especially when it comes to cutting taxes and regulations. They love that, man. They love the Trump, Trump tax cuts. They went and put billions of dollars, I think over a trillion dollars collectively into buying back their own stocks. Oh, they love Trump on economic policy, at least when it comes to cutting taxes and regulation. But the one thing that they won't allow him to do is to mess with that profit. A trade war with Europe, a trade war with Canada and Mexico, that messes with their profits. And when that happens, they're going to come down on him like a ton of bricks. Now, look, again, I don't care about Wall Street and their profits. I don't give a damn. I don't believe that there should be a billionaire, right? There should be no such thing as billionaires. Anything over, like, 
you hit a billion dollars, anything after that, 100% taxed and redistributed to the poor. I said it. Uh, the thing is, though, I do care about people who are actually hurting. I do care about the workers that are going to get fucked over. It, it's not the company that's going to be hurt going overseas. It's the workers that are going to get hurt when that company goes overseas. Not only that, but look, we have farmers that are also being hurt. Uh, soybean farmers and other, other people that are being impacted by these retaliatory tariffs that the EU is putting on us for us putting it on them. Now, look, that's what I care about. And actually, if, if Wall Street forces Trump to walk back these tariffs, that's actually a good thing. Because this overall, just blindingly throwing on tariffs on everybody, that is bad policy and bad for America. If Trump thinks he's going to strong, strong arm these corporations into abiding by his stupid tariffs, no, he doesn't know who's actually in charge. We've known for a long time the United States is an oligarchy. The corporations control everything. And so... The corporations are happy under Trump as long as they get the tax cuts and deregulation, as I keep mentioning, as long as their profits remain strong. But if something goes and challenges those profits, it's not going to go well. He's going to lose all support. Now, they're going to do what Harley did, right? Number one is go elsewhere. And then the workers, the workers are going to be fucked over. And guess what they're going to do? They're going to blame Trump. Guess what Harley just did? They blame Trump. They blame Trump and the Trump tariffs. All these companies are putting the blame and saying, look, it's President Trump's fault that we're moving. Get mad at him. Well, those are the people that voted for him. It's not going to go well uh, if this continues. And Trump is determined, determined to continue with these ill-conceived tariffs. They do nothing but isolate America. And they and they hurt jobs with any sort of without any sort of benefit for the American worker. This is just more idiotic policy from our blunderer in chief. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.